Hi guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my channel and, and for all my new subscribers, I am Natalia Suri. I do everything about books. I do book reviews, author interviews. You'll find historical, mythological and cultural mysteries here, especially my sessions with witches, tantrics and voodoo practitioners. Do check out those videos. But today I'm going to do a book review, five of my favorite thrillers. So let us start. My first recommendation for the thriller is The Wife Between Us. The name itself sounds very different. The Wife Between Us. So I'm sure you're thinking that it's a love triangle. Yes, it's a love triangle. The book is written by Greta Hendricks and Sarah Peckerman. Now, what is this book about? You'll make a lot of assumptions about an ex-wife. You'll make an assumption about a woman in love with a man. You'll make an assumption about a jealous ex-wife, as I said. And yes, you'll make many more assumptions that you'll know the story of this triangled love story, of this entangled triangled love story. Entangled triangle love story. Yes, it's a tongue twister. Yeah, so do check out the book. I recommend it because whatever you assume, you will see that it is not the way as you think it to be. My second book recommendation is Sometimes I Lie. Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. Uh, so why this book? The first line, the introduction of the book will uh, hook you on. It did hook me on the introduction. What I remember goes something like this. My name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things that you should know about me. The first, I'm in coma. My husband doesn't love me and sometimes I lie. So uh, this book was when I read these three lines I said I must read this book. Now another thing which is very interesting is Amber is in the hospital, uh, she's in coma, that's true and many more things are true and many more things are false. I'm not going to spoil your reading so I'm not going to share what is true and what isn't but uh, yeah so Amber is in the hospital, she cannot speak, uh, she cannot see but yes she can hear and she presumes that her husband is involved in all this but the ending is what would leave you thinking for many days. So guys, my third book recommendation is uh, The Death of Mrs. Westway by Ruth War. Now why do I recommend this book? I recommend it because in the beginning you will feel that it's a regular book, nothing special but as you turn through the pages your interest develops and I really love those thrillers where it becomes a roller coaster and this is one of them. Harriet Westway is the main character, you would certainly feel bad for her because uh, she is, appears like that helpless girl, uh, the loan sharks are after her, she needs that money desperately and then one day she receives a letter that her grandmother has uh, left her um, a treasure perhaps I would not share what she has left but yeah so she receives that letter but the hitch is that her grandmother passed away 20 years ago so now a grandmother leaving behind a, uh, an empire and a grandmother passed away 20 years ago so I'm leaving you with this third recommendation uh, do check this book out. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. The writing is beautiful. It's uh, especially very soft and uh, the, the reason I really liked it was the writing also. So that is the second reason I recommend it. The character of Harriet Westway is something you would really really like. I, I could connect to her. She, was, she appeared like the girl next door for whom you feel bad. But then the twists and the turns happen. I don't want to make it a spoiler. So do check out this book. So guys, my fourth recommendation is The Silent Patient. Now, it's a debut novel. Why am I recommending this? It's a psychological thriller, a genre which I really love. And another thing is that it's about a wife and her husband and a third person. Can you guess that third person from The Silent Patient, the name? Perhaps no. It's a psychotherapist. Now, Alicia Burnanson's life looks absolutely gorgeous. She's a famous painter, married to a fashion photographer. Now, what happens? Why does she shoot her husband and then goes absolutely quiet about it? 
you will come to know and then then what happens and what is the reason that Theo Faber a psychotherapist gets involved and he wants to talk to her and makes it a motive and his determination about it it unravels many sides especially those dark sides if you like such things if you like the dark twists and turns it's a novel that i certainly recommend even though it's a debut novel but supremely well written you will keep turning those pages there are unending cliffhangers which you will love and enjoy and this book will leave you thinking so this is my fourth recommendation and yes my fifth and the last recommendation is the gone girl by glen flynn it is a book which i really really love if you've checked out the movie i do recommend that you read this book you are going to certainly enjoy the book ami is very very calculative she befriends people you come in her way and she teaches you the lesson in the beginning this character looks like a very very friendly character but later on you see what changes really come about uh, and yes her husband nick he play praise the price it has got far too many twists and turns all unexpected you may think a but the writer has put a z there so yes i would recommend this book especially for the dark twists and turns and if you really like those uh, roller coaster rides so this is a thriller that you must must read yes though even though it is the husband wife relationship but it is 100% recommended for the planning the writer has done in it so yes do remember to post in your comments your views do subscribe because it's wonderful to see those figures going up and don't forget to smile take care of your health and most important thing do comment how did you like my recommendations the five thrillers which i recommended and yes do join me in my next video which i'll be posting in very soon and don't forget to check out my blog I'm sure you if you like those mysteries, religious mysteries, and if you want to really laugh, it's a mixture of both. So yes, do check out my blog. It's www.nataliasuri.com. And yes, see you soon. Take care and don't forget to smile. You look beautiful when you smile. Bye. Take care.